Okay, sorry, I wasn't sure if the camera came in. Um, uh, good afternoon, welcome to... Awesome Math 145! Awesome Math 145. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a problem your brother and I were working on uh, today, and I thought it would be actually pretty interesting just to hear your thoughts about it too, because um, it's actually kind of a neat problem. Um, how many integers between 1 and 2005 are divisible by 3 or 4? But not. But not 12. 12. And I think the reason for this 2005 here is this is a problem from the 2005 AMC 10. So, um, it's a pretty neat problem. Yeah. A very challenging problem, actually. This, this is from a high school test. But I thought you might have some interesting thoughts about what to do here. So what do you think? We, well, we could try... In, well, the, 2000, the 2005, it's... It's actually, it's a big number and we can't really do anything from that high. We can't figure that out. Yeah, that certainly we not. Could make the, we could lower 2005 and make the problem a little simpler here. That's a very interesting idea, actually. Mm. What would be an interesting number to lower it to? Well... If we lower it to 10, if we do it to like 1 to 9, and then we do it from 1 to 9, or maybe 1 to 10, then it's get a little easier. Well, if we do it from 1 to 10, there would be 5 numbers. There would be 4 and 8, 3, 6, and 9. Okay. Interesting. So, if we kind of do it then... But this is kind of casework here. Yeah, that is a little bit of casework. So we could, we could keep, we could chop it up into cases, but we have to make the cases a little higher than ten. How come? Because there would be a lot of cases from like one to ten, eleven to twenty, twenty-one to thirty. There would be a ton of those. Yeah, there would be a lot of them. And, and actually, interestingly enough, there's one other thing that makes 10 a little uh, tricky for the cases for this problem. There's a, there's a different number that's a little better to do for the cases. What about maybe 12? Okay. What would make 12 an interesting case? Well, because then you're... Well, then you can maybe exclude the but not 12 part. We can kind of exclude that. Alright, well let's see. What would happen if we went from, instead of going from 1 to 10, we went from 1 to 12? What would happen? Well, we'd get, if it's, it's not inclusive... Well, then, no, we want, it be, we want it to be inclusive. 1 up to 12 inclusive. So then we get 12, 4, 8, 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. But we get the same th if we, we're not using 12, we get the same thing as Four. Huh. Interesting. So now on this one we gotta cross out the twelve. Mm. What do you think the next case would be to take a look at here? You could try thirteen to twenty-four. Thirteen to twenty-four, interesting. Mm. How many numbers are we gonna get now? Well, we're going to get well, we're going to get five we're going to get five numbers again. Okay. Because we have the 12 and 16, then we have 15, 18, 21, and then 24, and these, oh, we get, we get an extra 20. We get 20 and then 24, but these don't matter. Okay, so this time do we get six numbers? Six numbers, and then Looks like the next case would be 25, 36. I want you to take a look at that 13 to 24 case again. What were the six numbers you thought were in 13 to 24? 12 doesn't work. Why not? Because 12 is less than 13. Ah, and we would need to cross that 12 out anyway. Yeah. Okay. So this doesn't work. We have, still have five numbers. I think that's the, maybe it's the generator. Is that the nice?
Hold on, put the camera on pause for a second.